Hey, buddy. Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you guys doing? Uh, I want to show you some new baits I got from um, Great Lakes Finesse. And this is some of their new releases. And um, I think they look awesome. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think they look pretty awesome. But um, it's almost kind of interesting that they that now they have a Helgramite since that seems to be like the theme this winter of all the different, you guys who watch my channel, I've seen all the different different Helgramite baits from different companies I've gotten to try and the ones that I've used and how, how much I like them. And now Great Lakes Finesse has one. So I'm gonna show you the, uh, the Juicy Helgramite, that new bait from them. And I'm also gonna show you the 2.5 inch Juvie Craw or Juvenile Craw, however you'd like to say it. Um, I think they look great. I think they look great. So um, let me show you the um, <clears throat> the Juicy Helgramite first. Now, this color is green pumpkin purple. And uh, it's a 2.4 inch bait. I have not even taken these out of the pack yet. I got them the other day. And I've been waiting to do this video. And let's see. I believe it's an 8 pack. Yep. And uh, I'll let you get a good look at that. There. You guys who've never seen Great Lakes Finesse before. But if you follow my channel, I'm sure you've seen all the other baits that I've gotten from them. And I, I think they're really an awesome company. They got some great stuff. So I'm going to take one of these out of here. Because this is the first time I've touched it. So what did I say? It's a 2.4 inch. So this is this is actually a little smaller of a Helgramite than I, I think I have from those other companies. I think those are probably a 3 inch or bigger. But um, it looks awesome. See, it's got salt on it. What did I say? Green pumpkin purple was that one? Yeah. The green pumpkin. You can see that purple flake in there. So you guys get a good look at that. So it's a 2.4 inch bait. So, you know, their company is Great Lakes Finesse. That's their specialty of finesse baits. And there's a finesse bait for you. Now, I don't even know. This, <laughs> this quarter ounce Ned might be a little big. Let me see if that'll... Eh, that'll fit on there. Okay. But I'm not going to harpoon it now. But any, you know, I'll just throw these on a Ned head. This is just a Wu Tungsten quarter ounce uh, Ned. I might even go a little lighter to an eighth or a sixteenth or even, you know, some of those Z-Man ones that are a fifth and a sixth of an ounce. But I think I might actually even go, you know, even a smaller in a Ned head with it, with these being that it's only a 2.4 inch bait. But there's that green pumpkin with the purple which looks really cool. Let me see how they have these in here. I'm going to take this whole thing out. So the way it comes in, it's not necessarily a clamshell, but it's that little clam, that little plastic little container there that they're all lined up in. So that's what they kind of look like all, I don't want to dump them all out, but you guys get the idea. All right, let's see. Um, I also got the Smoke Clear Purple. Now that's a color that um, you guys know that I did very well with last summer. Uh, last season, I shouldn't say summer, just the whole season. That 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 smoke purple of other companies was killer. So I'm really looking forward to trying the uh, the Helgramite from Great Lakes Finesse. That's uh, on the river. That was that was that was really the good. That was that was better than a Ned. And as I've said in other videos, if everybody's throwing a Ned and you show them something a little different that looks a little more natural could be the ticket and that's smoke purple i love that color in a helgramite i love it in a ned too but it just i don't know what it is about that color but it just works great but there's that smoke purple from great lakes finesse in the helgramite and the other one i got was uh brown pumpkin special brown pumpkin pumpkin special i can say it and I think these are the colors I got that were in stock. I think I, you know, I'm keeping an eye on the, on the site and seeing when the other colors come into stock. I'd love like to try them out. But what did I say that was again? Gr uh, brown pumpkin special. So, you know, you've got a, a brownish pumpkin bait and it looks like there's definitely some green flake in there. And my guess is some gold flakes some definitely some different flake. That's a really cool color, very natural. All three of them look, look, look really nice. These are going to be killer on the river. <laughs> I can I can tell already. Can't wait to bring these up to Lake Champlain in May when I go up and throw these around. But that's the three that I got of the Helgramite. Uh, I also got, and really this was what I was. I didn't I didn't even know the Helgramite was out. I was going on the Pratco site to get some of the Juvie Cross, and then I saw that too, and I said I got to get the Helgramite.
So I did get, I think I have two packs that are the same color. Yeah, those two are the same color. But I'll show you these. Um, like I said, I haven't even taken these out of the pack yet either. This is the Green Pumpkin uh, Purple Flake in Juvie Croft. And that's a 2.5 inch bait. And I did get, uh, I'll rig it up for you. I did get some of their uh, their tube heads because I think some of the uh, the hook gaps on the tube heads that I have might be a little big. So I want to try some of theirs. So I got uh, 3 sixteenths and a quarter ounce. So I'll, I'll rig some up there in, in a second and show you. But uh, let me show you the colors first. So there's the uh, green pumpkin purple. And so if you want a finesse crawl slash tube, uh, you can't get much finessier than that. Two and a half inch bait. Um, I, I just can't imagine. I was watching some videos from Great Lakes Finesse on YouTube today and they were just slamming them on these, these, uh, these tubes. They look great. I don't know if I should call it a tube or a crawl or a crawl tube. <laughs> it's definitely a finesse crawl that is, that is fish like a tube bait. Now, if you're going to rig it up, now where's that 3 16 I'll throw that 3 16 on there. If you guys have never used the internal uh, weighted hook for a, a tube bait before, it's very simple. Very simple. Ouch. That's one way to get it out. Stick it in your finger. And these are, I mean, I don't even know if it says it on there. I'm assuming that's like a one-aught hook. It's got to be tiny. Because it's not a big bait. It's only two and a half inches. And you don't want to overpower the uh, the bait with your hook size. So that's the um, 3 16 ounce. And this is that uh, green pumpkin. with that. And if you'll notice on the top of these with their little feelers here, there's a little slit. And that's where your hook is going to wind up being. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you get these, you'll see it when you look up close. But I'm going to put that, I want that hook to be right in between that little, that snout there, in between those little, those little feelers that I got there. The little antenna, I guess you call those. And you can see the little crawls. Now, I might even sometimes take my, one of my, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank what I was going to say. One of my, uh, my dye markers, sorry, my dye markers, and maybe put a little orange on those claws. But uh, you just run that up the middle of the bait to the back. And then what you do when you're throwing a tube is you just get it to the back and you're just going to pop that line tie out wherever it, wherever it sits. Like you do a normal tube. So you just pop that line tie out and you tie her up. Tie it up to your... And this will... It's actually moved on me. But I'll put it back in place. A little crooked now. Well, I'm messing this all up. But that's what it's going to look like, guys. Hope you can see that well. You've got the hook there, and you're just gonna, you know, pop that along the bottom. I mean, that's very compact. That's, I just, I think that's gonna be dynamite. It's gonna be a great bait. I want you to just pop that line tie through there. Just tie, right, just tie it right to your line. You know, probably, you know, obviously spinning six pound floral. You could probably go four. I mean, four for me is a little. <laughs> I'm hunting for big smallies. Four pound line gets me a little nervous, but uh, but they look great. They really look great. I think there was a couple colors that they had that I wanted to trip that I didn't have. They didn't have in stock that I'll definitely like to get before I go up to Champlain or even this spring because this is going to be a great spring bait. But there it is. There's that 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 green pumpkin purple. Make sure I put it right in back in the right uh, right bag here. It looks like, I did not look at the front, it's a seven pack. So there's seven of them in there. You guys can see them all huddled next to each other in there. There's seven of them. So that green pumpkin purple, I've got two of those. I don't know, I must have hit two by mistake, which is it's a color I'll use a lot. I, don't, I never mind having more of uh, two of something, because you, you especially if you use it a lot. Uh, green pumpkin purple... I guess copper CPA. That definitely looks like looks like maybe some copper flake in there. I think that's the name of that color. I think the CPR is probably copper, purple copper, FLT. I don't know if that's flake. I'm not sure what FLT is for you. 
Great Lakes finesse experts out there. You can tell me what FLT, I'm assuming it means flake, but I don't know. But that's definitely got some purple flake in there. Got some copper flake. That's another great color. I mean, green. if you're throwing a green pumpkin tube, that is just, that's like standard operating procedure when you're throwing a tube. Green pumpkin is, you know, a great color. And as I said, you could take those dye markers, put a little uh, orange on there, a little chartreuse if you want. I usually go in the orange on the claws. But these are really cool looking. Really cool looking. Uh, let's see. I also got a pack of the green pumpkin watermelon. Which looks great if you look at that belly. That lighter color belly looks really great. Bass are going to love these. Yeah, it's watermelon, green pumpkin watermelon. To me, it's almost like a green pumpkin. It's almost like even a chartreuse on that belly. It's a very light watermelon, but that's, that's really a dynamite color right there. Looks awesome. And the last one I got was the uh, green pumpkin orange belly. And you guys know that I love orange. So this will probably be the first one I try. Just because I've got to. I mean, that is... I mean, I would take my marker. My... my, my um, one of those uh, markers there and doctor that up orange but I don't know I don't have to put knee on there it's already on there but that's a great one that's just no flake or anything that's green straight green pump and eh, there might be some black flake in there on the belly I don't even need the dye marker to put any orange on that on the belly there but I'd put I might put it that's actually the back of the claws has it on it too I might put a little more on there mess around see what see if they, if it makes a difference to them But that, my friends, is it. So these, I mean, like every bait I've shown you, um, if you guys have new to my channel, you have to check out the other Great Lakes Finesse um, videos I've done because I think their baits just look great. They just look great. And I'm really excited to try this, uh, the Juvie Craw. So just to, just to wrap everything up, the 2.5-inch Juvie Craw from Great Lakes Finesse, new bait out on the market, just picked them up the other day. Seven pack. Um, there's the green pumpkin orange, if you're looking for that one. The uh, green pumpkin watermelon looks great too. They all look awesome. Uh, green pumpkin purple and copper. It's another one. And I think there's one, or a couple other colors that I don't have um, that I, I didn't that were out of stock when I went to buy them. But I'm sure they'll be back in soon. And a couple of the green pumpkin purple, which is a, a great combo. If you're going to throw this, unless you have some really small gap um, <clears throat> uh, tube heads, I would try theirs. I got the 3 16th to try, and I got a pack. Looks like it's, looks like it's a four pack in each. You have four of them. As I said, the 3 16th four pack. And I also got the quarter ounce. I'm going to fish a little deeper. So I probably wouldn't. I know they'd make a bigger size. Maybe if I was fishing deep, I'd use a bigger head because I'm sure that I'm sure their their hook gap is not going to change. It's probably just a bigger a bigger body on the on the weight. Um, in case you're fishing deeper, uh, which I may try, we'll see. And I also got some of their Helgram lights, so um, I had to try those. This is that uh, brown pump, uh, brown pumpkin special. These are eight packs from Great Lakes Finesse and a Helgram light. A great um, just a, if you guys like throwing a Ned and you haven't tried a Helgramite, I highly recommend it. It is awesome, especially if you're a river fisherman. I do so well in the rivers around here on them. I mean, it works good everywhere, but it just seemed last year the river was really producing well on the Helgramite bite. And now I've got, I think I've got every Helgramite out there now to try from different companies. These feel pretty durable. It's a durable plastic. And let's see, this is the uh, Green Pumpkin Purple. Put that back on the package there. And the color that I love, you guys know, is that smoke clear purple. And the uh, the 
Juicy 2.4 inch Juicy Helgramite from Great Lakes Finesse. Great company, love their stuff, um, big fan. And I cannot wait to throw these this year. Cannot wait to throw these. These will definitely be on the hook the first time I go out because the water's going to be cold. Perfect conditions for this type of stuff. And uh, they look great. They look great. So um, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I will put the link um, to these. Um, I might just give you the Pratco link where I got them from. Uh, but you can get them at, I'm sure you can get them at Tackle Warehouse. I bought them from Tackle Warehouse. I bought them from Land Big Fish. So all the major companies are selling them. And um, hopefully your local tackle shop is too. So if you have a choice to go there first, do it. Go to your local tackle shop and, and buy them if you can get them there first. All right. So um, I'll put links to all these. You guys can check them out online if you haven't already. But they look, they look awesome. They look awesome. And I can't wait to throw them. There's those tube heads again if you're looking for a little more finessey tube head than what you got i know the ones i have i think the hook gap might be a little big for the that juvie crawl so some new baits from great lakes finesse i highly recommend you try them out they look awesome all right so any questions let me know now i haven't thrown them yet so um hopefully i'll get some good on the water footage of these baits soon sooner than later and uh see how the smallies and the largies up here like them I have a feeling they're going to like them a lot. <laughs> so, uh, so that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. So um, any questions, let me know. And I'll see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.